Don't worry if you woke up like this again, cause I got your back, girl! In this tutorial, I'll show you 10 adorable hairstyles and 10 DIY hair accessories. These are perfect for school because they are super easy and quick to make, they keep your hair out of your face and they look absolutely stunning. Hey loves, I'm super excited about today's video because it's about something that I've never done before and I love trying out new things. So today we're gonna be fixing up our hair. I'm gonna show you 10 beautiful hairstyles and since my love for DIY runs deep, I'm also including 10 epic DIY hair accessories. The hairstyles that I'm about to show you are so pretty and they're perfect for school because they are literally done in no time. You can make them on your way to school or even when you get there because these are just like bam, perfect hair. I hope that you guys are excited and let's dive in. First, let's make this cute wired headband. We're gonna need some fabric, wire, pliers, scissors and a glue gun. Start by cutting 30 inches long and 6 inches wide piece of fabric. I'm just using this body that I got on sale for a couple of dollars. I loved the fabric so I took the large one and now I can make a bunch of DIYs out of it. Apply the glue along the longer side of your rectangle and fold the edge inside. This way, you'll get beautiful clean edges without sewing. Once that's done, fold the fabric like so and cut the shorter sides diagonally. Unfold the fabric and make the neat edge on the sides as well. Time to take a wire and cut a piece of the same length as your fabric. Curl the ends with the pliers to get rid of that sharp edge. All we gotta do now is apply some glue along one half of our fabric, place on the wire and fold the fabric like that. Wait for a few minutes so that the glue dries completely and we're ready to rock this gorgeous wired headband. Here I decided for a simple hairstyle with my hair down. But this headband looks so cute with ponytails, half abdus, messy buns, it just makes any hairstyle 100 times more fun and cute. And when you're late for school, you can just grab it and you're out the door. With this awesome headband, you can make a great hairstyle on your way to school or even when you arrive because it just takes a second. A polished flower wrapped bun, anyone? To make the flower wrap, all you need is a glue gun, string, scissors and some artificial flowers. Place your flowers in a line like that. Cut a 10 inch piece of string and set it aside for a moment. Now apply some glue on the back of your flowers and quickly place the string on. If you want you can apply another layer of glue to assure that this flower wrap will last you many years. Voila and we're ready to put this beauty into our hair. Take an elastic band and start making a high pony. Take a hair donut and pull your ponytail through the opening. If you don't have such donut, you can easily make one using a sock. Wrap all your hair around the donut to cover it and secure with a few bobby pins. Finally, take your flower wrap and tie it around the bun, making a little bow in the back. I think this hairstyle is so cute and the flowers really take it to the next level. This one is also perfect for the days when you're too lazy to wash your hair because it keeps them out of the face and looks adorbs. Next, let's make this beautiful braided headband. You will need three different colors of fabric, scissors and a hair tie. For the fabric, I'm going to recycle three old shirts. Cut about 15 inch long and one to two inch wide piece of fabric. Note that the wider the strips, the thicker the headband you'll get. Cut the same pieces from the other two shirts. For my headband, I chose pink, yellow and minty green. I think these are my favorite colors at the moment. I love how you can make these headbands using different patterns and materials to match your outfits. Give the strips a nice tuck to get rid of that freshly cut look. 
take a hair elastic and tie your fabric strands on by making a simple knot. Now it's time to start braiding and I like to place a heavy object on one end to keep my work in place. Anyone remember this candle from my DIY room decor? I love it so much, I don't even want to burn it! Ok, once your braid is finished, all you have to do is tie the loose ends to the elastic. Make the knots close together. And here it is, our beautiful braided headband! Here's an idea on how you can rock it. Take the hair at the crown and temporarily secure it on the top of your head. Place on a headband. Take the front section of your hair and tuck it under the headband like this. And do this on both sides. Let the hair at the crown fall down and you have an adorable hairstyle for school. You can also use this one in a gym with a braid or a ponytail. I love the cute little detail this headband adds to the otherwise plain hairstyle. And what's great is that it keeps your bangs out of your face, which is always helpful for school. Next I'm gonna show you how to make your own flower hair clip. All you need is some glue, a flower, a clip and 30 seconds of your time. This one is very straightforward, we just need to attach the flower onto the clip. Apply some glue on the back of the flower and place on a hair clip. Leave to dry and voila, a beautiful hair accessory that transforms any hairstyle into a pretty and romantic masterpiece. I like to make a deep side parting and clip it on the side where I have less hair. You can then just leave your hair down like me or make a braid, a side pony, whatever you do, I bet you will look amazing! Sometimes we just want our hair out of the way and the ponytail is a great solution, but there's no need for it to be boring. For some fun beaded hair ties you will need elastic ribbon, colorful beads and scissors. Cut about 5 inch piece of elastic ribbon. I like to stick on some tape on one end, this makes it much easier to thread the beads on. Slide on a bunch of colorful beads. I have some yellow, pink, blue, orange and purple. Then just tie the ends into a knot. Slip away any excess elastic and we're finished! I made few of them using different colors of elastic ribbon and they look so cute! Now your ponytails will never look plain and boring but fun and interesting instead! These are perfect for working out as well! I always like to put on colorful pieces when I work out! Strangely, I just get very motivated if I have something nice to wear when I'm exercising! So these hair ties go perfectly with my training gear! Plastic headbands are so easy to wear, here I'll show you how to make this beautiful threaded one. We're gonna need a plastic band, embroidery floss, scissors, paintbrush and some glue. Apply your glue on a 2 inch section of your headband. Take your thread and start wrapping it around the band. Make sure the loops are close together so you can't really see the headband under. For a neat look, stick the thread ends on the bottom part like so. Apply the glue on the section next to it and start wrapping another color of thread. You can also use thicker thread or yarn. You'll finish quicker, but the headband will look just as pretty as this one, I promise! Here I'm working on my third color, which is this beautiful emerald green. You can make your headband using just one color of thread or you can go a bit crazy like me. I don't really have much pattern clothes in my closet, so this will add a nice fun touch to my solid outfits. Continue wrapping your thread around the band until it is completely covered. Stick the thread ends on the bottom and we are all finished with this pretty headband. I like to wear mine with all the hair pulled back. This gives you so much volume and looks kind of retro, which I love! To add an even more relaxed and fun touch to the hair, I'm also taking a small section of hair from behind my ears and I'm making a little braid. Secure with a clear elastic and make the same on the other side. How happy and relaxed is this hairstyle, right? I love it! Oh, and anyone noticed my DIY shirt? I love that one too, I've been wearing it loads! 
This headband looks great with half updos as well. I'll show you a simple half up half down hairstyle in a bit. One of the cutest hair accessories to me are definitely hair bows. They can be quite expensive to buy, so we're gonna make one on our own. We'll need two pieces of fabric, a 10 by 6 inch and a 1 by 5 inch, a hair clip and a hot glue gun or fabric glue. Take your larger piece of fabric and fold the upper part down. Apply some glue on the edge and fold the bottom part up like so. When the glue is completely dry, proceed by folding the right part towards the center. Again, apply some glue on the edge and fold the left part in as well. In the meantime, take your small piece of fabric, fold it on both sides and glue the edges together to get a neat strip like this. Back to the bigger piece of fabric, which is completely dry by now. Pinch it in the middle to get that zigzag form. Once you cut the shape, you can apply some glue in the creases. Now we just have to wrap our little strip around the center of the bow. Glue it on the back and trim away any extra fabric. Here's our bow all finished. The only thing left to do is attaching a hair clip to it. I like to just slide the upper part of my hair clip through this opening and that's it. I like to wear my bow on the back of the head, just pinching the front top sections together. Literally a 2 second hairstyle that looks so adorable and cute. And that's why these DIY hair accessories are so perfect for school. You can take them with you or just have some in your locker. Make a quick hairstyle before the classes start or after PE. No need to wake up early in the morning just to fix your hair. I like wearing flower crowns, especially with side braids. Here I'm gonna teach you how to make this pretty daisy flower crown. You'll need some wire, pliers, scissors, florist tape, leaf vine, glue gun and the flowers of your choice. We're all set, let's begin. Cut a piece of wire that will fit your hair and form a circle. Swirl the ends around each other like so to keep it in place. Take a bit of masking tape and wrap it around that part as well. This makes the wire edges less sharp so you won't be able to hurt yourself. With the florist tape, go all around your crown until there is no wire to be seen. If you don't have a florist tape, you can just use a simple green ribbon. I got my florist tape in the flower shop, I just went there and asked and they sold it to me. Take your leaf vine, I got mine online for less than a dollar and wrap it around the crown several times. Secure the ends with a small piece of florist tape. Finally, it's time for the fun part, the flowers. Simply glue them on the crown using hot glue. You can place them as close or as far away as you like. I kind of prefer leaving some space between the flowers so that the vine and the leaves can be seen as well. Here comes the last flower and we're all finished. I think these hair crowns are so beautiful and they look awesome on pictures too. You can wear them with your hair down or as I like to do, make a simple side braid secure with a clear band and you got an awesome bohemian hairstyle. Flower crowns are a huge trend this year, I've seen them all over the shops but they are so much fun to make. You can make them using smaller flowers if you think these are too much for school but daisies are my favorite so of course I had to use them. Flowy scarves can make our outfits more interesting and full. But did you know that they can work as epic hair accessories as well? Alright. So, take your scarf and wrap it around your head like a Rambo. <laughs> no, just kidding. Go under your hair at the back, make the ends cross and pull them up again. Make a simple bow on top of your head or slightly tilted to one side as I like to do it. This already is a pretty awesome hairstyle if you ask me, but I decided to do a half updo this time. Grab the top part of your hair and pull it towards the back. Make a little twist and secure with a couple of bobby pins. And there you have it, a super cute hairstyle, awesome for school, a date or an evening with your girlfriends. This one looks so girly and kind of pin up to me, I love it so much. Last but definitely not least, we're making this statement flowery headpiece. You'll need a bunch of flowers of different sizes, I have this beautiful pastel Gerbera daisies, a plastic hairband and a glue gun. 
All we have to do is basically stick the flowers on the band. I'm leaving an inch empty because that's the part that goes behind your ears and you don't really need anything there. Apply some glue and place on your flowers. I like to stick my flowers close together so that the headband is totally covered. I only need one more big flower to finish off this pretty hair decor. Daisies and Gerbera daisies are one of my favorite types of flowers and I think these particularly look great because they are so pastel-y and nice and sweet. I love to wear mine with my hair down or with a side ponytail. Pull all your hair to one side. Swirl the bangs like that and then simply tie your hair with a clear elastic. So quick and easy but you're left with a beautiful and romantic hairstyle. Again, you can use smaller flowers if you want to tone down the hairpiece a bit. These were my 10 DIY hair accessories and hairstyles. I really hope the video was helpful and you'll try some ideas out. Please let me know in the comments which DIY hair accessory was your favorite and also give the video some love if you'd like to see more tutorials like this. Thank you so much for stopping by, I love you to pieces and I'll see you soon, bye! You don't need more than a minute to create awesome hairstyles. Just be creative, try something new and of course have fun with it!